Now let's try to use the Outcast Imagination Framework to decode the meaning of Pharrell's lyrics in the intro verse. D do a close reading of his lyrics and record for each set of lines your thoughts on the following big questions. What is Pharrell's message? What does he mean by these lines? What elements of Outcast Imagination do you see? So think about um, the, the acronym OUTCAST and think about these lyrics and then one, and something, write something in each box that has to, where you know, you're kind of deciphering the message. So you're going to go to slide four, which is part three, Decode Pharrell's message, verse one. Okay. So we can just listen to the intro verse. Try to decode the set, what each set of lyrics is, and then we're going to watch an, uh, Dr. Wilson's examination to see what she did. Now remember, there's no right answer for this, so it's whatever you're thinking. Um, everybody can decipher this message in their own way, and every which way that you do it will be correct. So don't worry about trying to get the right answer. It's like poetry. It can mean something different to each person. All right, so come go back to your assignment. You've listened to just the intro part. That's the only part that we're going to analyze right now. And write down what you think might um, each part might be. You can click and type in the box. And then just remember your outcast. So I'm going to go back to that slide. So remember, you're going to look for open-minded thinking. You're going to look for uprightness, truth or transparency, Kinship, accountability, sequence, or teaching love. To help you better understand how Dr. Jocelyn Wilson analyzes lyrics using her framework, let's take a minute to hear her analysis of the lyrics now that you've heard it, had a try. Remember, there is no correct answer here. We just want to see what an expert might hear in Pharrell's lyrics. All right, now we're going to go to part four, and we're going to be talking about some vocabulary words and having a little bit of a class discussion. We are now going to take a deeper dive to ensure that as a class, we have a common understanding of three really important themes that are deeply embedded within the song's lyrics. Those three themes are entrepreneurship, equity, and racism. To start off, let's first define entrepreneurship and equity. Please record these key terms into your assignment. So right now I have the definition up. You're going to go to your class assignment. So we're going to go to your assignment, part four, is on slide five, build your toolbox. There's a place here for you to write the term. I'm going to show the terms on the next slides, and this is where you're going to record them. So for the next part, you're going to stay on this slide. For um, to for the next part, you're going to stay on this slide for this whole part of the discussion that we're going to break into a few things on the discussion slide and some things that you're going to take notes on. So I'm going to show the next slide, but you're going to stay here on this assignment and write down the definitions. So the first one is the act of starting and operating any type of business. Entrepreneurs make profit or financial gain from the products and or services they provide. So the word here is entrepreneur. I'll leave it up here on the screen for you to type it. E-N-T-R-E-P-R-E-N-E-U-R. Now the next one is the ability for all groups of people to experience the same quality of life. It includes taking any necessary actions to make sure that all groups of people get fair treatment and the right resources that enables you to thrive. We've got pictures here at the bottom. One shows equality where everybody's given the same thing, but that doesn't mean that you all get the same opportunity, uh, the same ability to thrive. You can see that the short person, if he has the same box, does not give him the ability to watch the game. So equity is giving people what they need to have the same opportunities. 
And then liberation would be, we all have the same opportunities and we don't even need to be given anything. So this definition is equity. It's the middle picture. You can write that in your assignment document. During our last activity, we got to see both of these themes, entrepreneurship and equity, rise. However, one major barrier to equity for all entrepreneurs and for all people of color is racism. I'm sure you have all learned about racism or even experienced it or seen it in the past. How would you define racism? I want you to think about this and you're going to write on your document, write your own definition of racism. So take a minute and then we're going to do a share out. So when you think about racism, what does it look like? How does it work? Those are the things, things some questions you can ask yourself to help you come up with a definition of racism. Now we're going to do a class definition of racism. So you'll see the term there and on the second part of the square you're going to you've written your definition of racism and of course it's valid whatever you however you feel about racism that's going to be a valid definition. There's going to be one that we'll use together as a class and this one's here on the slide that you can copy down into your assignment. The subtle and overt mistreatment hurt and harm or discrimination against individuals or members of a group based on the color of their skin. It manifests in a variety of ways and impacts everyone differently. That's a, a lot to write down, so I'll just give you a minute. I'll keep this frozen on the screen and let you type that into your assignment. I'll read it again so you can type it. The subtle and overt mistreatment, hurt and harm or discrimination against individuals or members of a group based on the color of their skin. It manifests in a variety of ways and impacts everyone differently. Now that we've normed on what racism is, let's examine the evidence of racism we see within the lyrics of Entrepreneur. Take three minutes or a few minutes to review the lyrics and share concrete examples of where Pharrell or Jay-Z highlight the existence of racism. In other words, what evidence of racism do you see within today's lyrics of Entrepreneur? So you'll see the lyrics that we looked at earlier there on your document on part four, and there's a place for you to write down any evidence that you might see in these lyrics. So take a few minutes to do that, and then be ready to do a share out. <laughs> 